Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Carolyn and her clothes. So today I've got a Stitch Fix. Um, Stitch Fix is a styling service that is online and you give fill out a style profile, pay them $20, they'll curate a box of five items, send it to you, keep what you want, send back the rest, anything that you want, um, that $20 will be applied to what you keep so you won't be out your money unless you send everything back. I do not pay that $20 styling fee. I can get unlimited fixes and I'm currently set up to every two to three weeks um, because I pick, got the style pass. I was selected. I don't, it wasn't something I chose. They asked me and invited me to be a style pass person and I said yes because I pay $49 for the year, can get unlimited fixes, shipping free both ways and why not? You know, it's $49. I'm sure I can spend $49 in one year. <laughs> All right, so today's fix, I have to be honest with you, I got the preview and I had asked, I had asked for a bunch of stuff. I'm looking for like a white eyelid skirt, a button down gauzy top. Um, I'm looking for printed shorts, uh, t-shirts and tanks, um, things of that nature. And I specifically said colored t-shirts, I got, uh, sorry, colored shorts or printed shorts. I'm done with denim, I don't need any more denim shorts. So I only picked out two things from this fix. One was a pair of shorts, because she showed me a pair of printed shorts. And the other one was a workout jacket, because I said, did say I still needed one. All right, so those are the two things I picked out and the rest of the things that I had of a surprise. So first up are the shorts I picked out. Now I specifically asked for four inch printed or uh, solid sh colored shorts. These by our Market and Spruce, and they're the Alicia three inch embroidered shorts. Now they're embroidered here, this teeny little bit that you can't even see here on the pocket. It's in just red stitching and on the back pockets. It's, I wouldn't call these embroidered shorts to be honest with you. They're printed, all right? They are a red, but like a dusty red, not like a fire engine red. And the flowers, just letting you know here, the leaves, if you are interested in this, the leaves are in blue and the flowers are an off-white with like a blush pink in the center. So it's not really a white white, it's an off-white and it's not black, it is blue, it's navy blue, okay? She sent them in a size zero and I have to say, I mean they look like they would fit and they're mid-rise but I, I did put on some weight so they may not fit so I'll have to see when I try them on. You know, they're regular uh, button fly closure. Um, they set a mid-rise and honestly these do look like a low rise to me. I'll have to try them on and see how they fit. And I asked for four inch shorts, three inch shorts, when I saw that they came up, like when I saw I was checking out, cause I'm a peeker, I always peek. I'm like, oh, I asked for four inch shorts, these are three. So most likely these are going back. Um, I just, for me, four inches is my sweet spot. Maybe I could do three and a half. Three is pretty short, <laughs> but we'll try them on and see how they are. In her note, okay, and these are $58. In her note, she suggested that I wear it with this Lush Deanne Smock Peplum Blouse in black, okay? Keep in mind, shorts have navy flowers, no black. Now, the style card also suggested black with this. I wouldn't wear black with these shorts because the flowers, the leaves here, and the outline is definitely navy, not black, all right? But here is the black Lush top. So it has a smock top, the pluff sleeves, the peplum bottom, and it's 100% polyester. So. I personally, because I live in New Jersey, and I'm on my back deck now, and it is hot and humid and sticky right now. So I'm not going to try it now. I'm going to be doing it later on the inside when I have better lighting. Um, but right now, I, I just would never wear this with shorts because it is like 100% polyester. It's not something you can wear in the Northeast in the summertime. <laughs> I might keep the blouse for another reason. So besides it doesn't match, I just would not wear it with shorts. It'd be a cotton tank top type of thing. <laughs> so, which brings us on, and this was $40 for the peplum blouse, which brings us on, she sent a t-shirt. This is the Market and Spruce Harley Pima Cotton Scoop Neck Tee in white, size extra small. This is a very soft material. All right, it's an extra small and it definitely looks like it fits me and it definitely, it actually seems rather long to me, all right? One thing I noticed right away and I'll show you, there's a boo-boo on it, okay? I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring it up closer to you see. And can you see there's an actual hole in it, all right? You can see my little finger right through it. There is a hole in this. So this will be going back for that reason and plus it's see-through, plus the price on this T-shirt is 
see, $28. I prefer to get my teas from Amazon Essentials. Uh, I don't pay $28 for teas. To me, that, that that's just crazy. All right. Next up. Although it is very soft, I have to say that. Next up, and it is Pima Cotton, is this Paper Moon Nora Flutter Sleeve Off the Shoulder Blouse in Green. And this is also an extra small, and it's $34. Um, this is mostly polyester, but it has rayon and some spandex to it. So it has, because it has the rayon, it definitely feels more rayon, but it's a rayon poly mix. Okay. Um, this is $34. The fact that it's an off the shoulder for me, I'm going to probably say this is a no. I really have to love a top for me to wear a strapless bra, and I just do not love this top. It's all right. Nothing wrong with it. Um, it's you know not too heavy because it has like the the ventilation in it that you shouldn't be able to see through it but it has like fine fine little holes in it so it shouldn't be too heavy but uh, honestly I just don't love it all right last up is the market and spooz Remy performance in black for $58 I'm very surprised about this I'm disappointed this is so thin it is like wearing a workout t-shirt and they just made it into a jacket I need a jacket not a shirt <laughs> so yes it has a zipper right but all it is is like a long sleeve t-shirt there's no thickness to this whatsoever um, it sounds to me like I'm gonna have to go back and get that sweaty Betty for $118 from Nordstrom's but I keep watching it for to go on sale because at least that was thick you know this is just like a t-shirt that they basically converted into a jacket it has the two zipper pockets in front it zips all the way up long in the top and yes it has the thumb holes here so this would be a no for me and this is $58 I much rather spend more money on a quality jacket that will keep me warm and won't snag or not snag as easily as something like this so this was actually a pretty reasonable fix total would be $218 if I bought everything it'd be $54.50 off so that my order total would be $163.50 um, like I said I don't have the styling fee so it is not a bad price I'll do the try on later when things cool down and I have some sunlight give me a few uh, minutes or hours Okay, here are the shorts and the lush top. The shorts for me and my personal preference are just a tad too short. I would like them just a little bit longer. Um, I would not size up in these. I would continue to be this size. The pockets are not pulling, so I'm okay there. They're just really short. Um, I also wouldn't size up because there is quite a bit of room back here anymore. Um, I think if I got a larger size and I bent over, they would come sliding right off. <laughs> so I don't think a bigger size is needed, just longer. If they were four inches, they might be a, been a possibility. But on top of that, it's more of a low rise, not even a mid rise. I consider mid rise to my belly button and these hit right below my belly button. And I do not want this kind of like low rise anymore. I prefer a mid rise, my natural waist, so I know that they're gonna stay up there and not slide down on me. Um, the pockets in the back are real pockets. The pockets in the front are real pockets, but they're not that deep, they're rather shallow. And then there is a little faux coin pocket up here. The top is by Lush. Um, it is too small across the chest, which is funny because the other extra small Lush top that I kept fits fine across the chest. Um, I also don't like it because it, I like square necks, but I need to be able to you know, hide my bra. I don't want to wear strapless bras. <laughs> if I can avoid it, I will avoid it, all right? So um, I also don't like peplums that often because I kind of feel like they're maternity tops, but all right. That's just me. <laughs> so this is definitely a no. Here's the, the, the side of it, right? So you can see. And between the low rise of the pants and this peplum, I just feel like my whole muffin top right here is just hanging out. So not fond of this. All right, here is the back, all right? And again, they're three inch short. So if you can see my fingertips, they don't come to my fingertips. And I really just prefer to have it a little bit longer. All right, next up is the t-shirt, the cotton t-shirt. Um, here's my opinion on it. For $28, it shouldn't be see-through. I don't know if you can see this, but you can see my shorts right through this. I'm also having it pulling down, so you can see actually how long it is. I think it's quite a long tee, so if you're taller, go for this. This is an extra small, which is my usual size. I find it quite generous. Um, 
So, I mean, I like the shape of it. it the material is nice and soft. It comes to my, uh, you know, arms at a good length. Nothing wrong with this tee, but for $28, I think I can do better at Amazon and buy my Amazon tees. I think they're like 10 bucks each <laughs> and they're a thicker cotton than this. So my answer for this is no. Plus, not to mention it has the boo-boo right here in front. Okay, next top. Moon off the shoulder top. I'll leave all the items in the description below in case you are interested in any of these. You can request these. Um, I'm I will wear an off the shoulder top, but it has to be something I absolutely love because it requires me to wear a strapless bra, and I hate strapless bras. I will do it if there's something that I really, really, truly love. So I, I would not pair it with these shorts, but I kept the shorts on just for the heck of it since I only got tops in this. Um, there's nothing wrong with this top. It actually fits well. It's, it's light and airy. Um, it would be a good summer top for someone who doesn't mind wearing strapless bras or no bra at all, if that's your thing. Um, but for me, th this is a no. Um, it's cute. There's cute. There's nothing, nothing wrong with it. I'd say it fits true to size, light and airy. Um, it, it would, it more or less stays off on my shoulders. It does pop up a little bit. That drives me nuts too. All right, so here's the back of it. All right. If these shorts were just a tad bit longer, I might have kept them. Um, you know, I would have wore like a navy top with them or, you know, an off-white one. I don't think I would wear pure white because the flowers are not pure white. All right, I'm going to throw on the jacket. Just give me a minute. And I have something that I purchased from Shop Your Looks. Or actually, it didn't from the categories I think I purchased them from. So just give me a minute. Okay, this is also the Market and Spruce Performance Jacket. Um, you know, if this was like a thicker quality, I would keep it, because this, this is what I'm looking for, this type of style, just a zip up, plain black, but this is so thin. I can't even explain to you how thin this is. To me, this is not a jacket. To me, this is a workout shirt with a zipper. <laughs> I'm looking for something that is a little bit thicker that will keep me warm. This will not keep me warm at all when I'm waiting outside at 5 a.m. So this is definitely a no. It has a thumb holes, all right? Um, zipper here, zipper pockets, not, nothing wrong with the style. It's the quality of it that I'm really disappointed in, all right? And it seems to me if I want a decent quality jacket, I'm gonna have to pay $100 for it, which I don't like. So I'm still on the search. If anyone has any suggestions on where I should be looking for one, let me know. All right, here is the back of it, okay? And let me show you my earrings that I purchased. These are Kate Spade earrings. I think I purchased them from Categories, and I believe they were $38. Look how cute these are. Okay. They're uh, cubic zirconia, but it's like a blue stone. All right. And then around here is, is like pave. All right. Isn't that pretty? And I think they were only $38. So these I'm keeping. These I purchased myself. This entire fix is going back, unfortunately. There's just no keepers. The shorts, if they had been just an inch longer, I would have kept them. Yeah, they're a little bit low rise. I would have tolerated that. Um, and I don't even know if I would have kept them if an inch longer. Between the low rise and the limited places I can wear them because of the pattern, um, I'm not sure. I mean, it's cute, they're cute, but I just really am not comfortable in this length. Like, to me, this is just covering my tush. <laughs> like, if I bend down, you'll see everything. Well, thank you again, returning subscribers. I appreciate your support. Newbies, welcome. I do a lot of unboxings, shopping hauls, try-ons. Um, I have a Nordstrom trunk coming up, and that is it. Take care, and until next time.